So we are coming out from uh, Henry Wolf. Let's see where the next station is. See how they make the buildings. Guys, we are in a sketchy stock. I'm going to show you a nice ship uh, dating back to hundreds of years. So curiously. Um, Facebook to stuff. Uh, should be somewhere from the corner. It's a nice train ride. Guys, if you see this, it's nice. Good. 
Non, 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 So here, I'll try my best to go in Curtis Hawk. Yes, we are here. This is next to Thames, uh, the river Thames, and I'll take you closer to the river. Shall we get on board? Yes, we can. Ah, this is called Kati Sak. That's the name of the ship, and this has been one of the fastest ships. Uh, uh, during good old days. Uh, yes, it's a beautiful one. Before that, we'll go to the river bank and come back again. Okay, it's, uh, it's a nice and sunny day. So, we can even take an Uber boat from here. This is the river Thames. <laughs> Can you see the tidal waves? I think it's quite closer to the sea, I guess, from that end. Uh, we should not waste our time, I guess. Let's go to Kitty Stark. Take you around first to show you how it is. It's quite ginormous. So ginormous ship. They have taken off the sails, uh, probably. You can see the anchor there and Katy Sark and they are called the bottom bit and uh, the sails have been taken or they have been folded up so probably it's all made out of wood uh, might as well go up and have a look Climb on board and touch history. Yes. 
you do that. It's just Abu and you know Abu and Ham. You want to go in there? It's going. Hi there. Uh, how can I go up the boat? So you can buy a ticket to the ship and the ticket is 15 pounds. For 15 all. pounds, all right. And you can visit the three levels of the ship. Just be aware that we close at 5, so you'll be a little bit some time. Okay, what time is it now? It's uh, 4, 10, 10 past 4. So you open up at 5 o'clock, is it? Huh? What time is it going to take me in? Yeah, you can buy a ticket for now, um, but just be aware that we will be closing at 5. Oh, closing at 5, all right. Yeah. Okay, I can go ahead here, thank you. Card, please. All right, thank you. Hi there. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I won't go on board. This one, yeah? Yeah. Very good. Just let so you know, so you close at 5 o'clock. Is that okay with you? Yeah, that's fine. Very good. How long will it take for me to go uh, around? Usually we recommend 45 minutes to an hour or so, so you're just at that spot. Okay. But in general, uh, yes, it's definitely possible. We'll be able to record, I mean, like video yes, record. Yes, 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 yeah. I'll just bring your tickets and your receipts. Okay. Uh, just to let you know, so I, uh, we do recommend if you have a limited time to so make sure to take your time to see the main deck, which is at the very That's top. Go, yeah. If you have any questions, there are, uh, there are my colleagues inside the ship as well who can uh, show you the direction to take. Okay. Uh, just printing your other receipts. Thank you very much. Thank okay. just scan that ticket for you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, this way, yeah? This way, Okay. So this is the board. We are going to go on board. Oh. All right, guys, let's go in. how it looks like Katie Sark see how they pulled up the the deck and go straight into the deck this is the hull that's how they the hull fill up the luggage Welcome on board Kati Sark. You're sitting in the lower hold, the main cargo space for the ship. Built by John Willis to serve the China tea trade in 1869, Kati Sark went on to become known as the fastest ship in the world. Her speed was thanks to the sleek design of her hull, as well as her huge sail area. And what time structure you can see around you? So guys, this is how they have stacked the stuff. Let's go on board. This is the... Actually, I went into the dry dock and now I'm in lower hold. Next is the twin deck and the main deck. Oh. See how it looks like. It's all made out of metal, iron. So probably the area that they normally store the stuff. I got to mind my head. It's almost like, oh, there's a replica here of Katie Stark. This is how it looks like. See the luggage, and that's how they, they bring it up. Mm. 
Ja. Den fed. So Portuguese stories. Kati Sark left London 30 men on board. Master first, second, third mates. Cook, steward, carpenter, sailing maker. 19 naval seamen, 3 ordinary seamen and 1 apprentice. This is how they lost their lives. Drown, 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 overboard, washed overboard, died of dysentery, died of shenaha, killed, committed suicide, Cholera, died of cholera, died of cholera, cholera. Right, I see. So, basically, pretty much everybody had, had passed away. So, so I'm here right now. Catch. Thank you. So another ladder here. This is how it looked like. <sighs> Let's go to the next deck. See the wooden bits. See how they have built uh, with nuts and bolts. These are basically metal beams, and in between you have all these wooden planks. So, pretty much, this has been a nice ship. Uh, yes, it's all made out of metal. Ah, it's a piano for Sydney, 1889. Still here. I do not know how many of them have been killed on board. Uh, like this uh, telescope. Everything is nice in here. Uh, so these are the voyages. So they are going from here to here. And from there back again. I went to Cape Town, which is Sri Lanka. My favorite island. It's another replica here of Cape Town. Meet the crew. Let's go to the main deck. Here we go. I have to bend and walk. <sighs> wow. This is a nice view. Let me walk up the sail, I guess. So this is the main deck. I'm here. This is weather deck, anchor deck, views of the land and poop deck. Oh my goodness, master cabin, ship wheel. Let me go up. Wow, this is fantastic. You see, this is I think the where they normally have their ropes tied. So I'm 
you. Sock. Finally. And here you go. <laughs> That's nice. Thanks for this serious philanthropic foundation for the donation to the Kati Sak Future Fund. So this is the deck. This See how he looks like. Cut his sock. Hello, Yaluni. Okay, Topi at Gagana. I'm going to go to Argana, Ogulan, Parana. Parana. Who will never get it? We toilet take a pain. The car toilets. This one of the toilets there. Uh, so that's where I was earlier. So you see here, that is where you tie the rope and pull it up, and uh, it's how old. Ropes, and probably one can fight here. Whose cabin is this? This belongs to the free time. So this is how they have been sleeping. See what's inside. That's a very small space. Some rum there, and some uh, pipes and their shoes and other stuff and there's a board game that's how they be hanging their stuff and the underwear there as well and this area is also for four eight seamen so that's nice probably this is their table and this is how they've been staying this looks nice it's a nice place to creep through and there's another carpenter's workshop. It's a workshop there. And this is the gallery. Uh, probably a place for, uh, for them to cook something. And that's another lifeboat. Probably where they can climb up. And lots of beautiful places on the deck. And uh, so they have, how they have, tied the ropes. See this rope? Come on, guys. Put the sail down. This is how you pull the sails down. This is probably how you have, how they have pulled the sails down and up. See how this is. That's the mast. Main mast. This mast and rigging was restored through the generosity of Alicia Yusmino in memory of Ar Arctic convoys. Uh, so some of the life. But I shall have to get some milk for the passage. Hi guys. It's another place for four people to sleep. And some buckets here. And this may be pumping water up. So we are not supposed to climb those ladders. And uh, this is the other end of the ship. Guys, uh, this is the one that I have never experienced my being on a sail ship. That was one of the only. It's 
कोई ना सी वर्ष नहीं Looks like the kitchen. This looks like the steward's room. And this is first mate's room. When we had cleared the big one, I saw its north end and took bearings. And uh, this is the pantry. Yeah, and wash their plates. And this is second mate's room. That's a small lamp there. And there are two beds, bunk beds. And this is the saloon. Hmm. This is a visitor This is the saloon. This is a saloon. I think probably this is the place where they have been having dining, writing, jotting down, working on their maps, and some mirror there. And then this is the master's room. Master cabin. Oh, that's his room. And the bed and, and uh, the cabin was home to Kati Sark's captain. Qualified officer responsible for the ship and all its operations, including navigation, managing the crew, loading and unloading cargo. When built, the cabin was accessed using the door from the saloon. At some point after 1895, when the ship had been sold to Portuguese company, Ferreira and Company, Master moved to the second mate's accommodation and managed to fit four posters with no knocking through the stool's cabin. Oh my goodness, lucky me. Hmm. Oh, Kati Sak. Oh, that is. Cutty socks. <coughs> I do not know what it looks like. Oh, this is too heavy. It's pure wood. And guys, I do not know what this is. Oh, this is the, the navigator. Guys, are you ready to set sail? Hmm. She's here, baby. Oh, there, baby. Hmm. Cool. So, guys, it's a nice place. I enjoy this place. So, this hats off. That's a small. And then there, by the size of my hand, I guess. And a few, a few boats, I think. Life boats. And some sails over here. Some chains over here. Yes. It's a good experience for me. Sorry. You see how tall it is from the ground. Oh, guys, let's ride. This is the steering. Pretty shock. And some flags over there. Are you ready guys? Let's go. This is the deck made out of wood. Oh. 
I don't know what this calls. I think this is the compass. Yes, for steering courses. Yes, that's the compass. And that's the light. I think probably someone is lighting this up. So you can see the compass moving up and down. Based on this, they will navigate. And that is Katy Sark. Katy Sark. And there's a guy over there. You can see. He's fixing the sail. And what an experience. That's how it looks like. That's how you enter. So most of the rooms are under here. Of course you can climb here as well. But they say you should not climb. See all these ropes. So if you want to climb up, this is how you go up. And of course these work out as ladders. And you can go all the way up. And up again. I think I heard those days they used to say for an, for a punishment. They ask you to go climb all the way up and jump from there to the sea. That is the punishment. It's like a diving from about 100 feet up. Who the hell is this? Some chicken here? Oh. Probably this is where they keep their poultry. See the ropes. Main mask. spare mask here and you can see the lifeboat I do not know how they take this out let me know how you do it I do not know it looks like it's too heavy and that's ah cut his sock You can see River Thames. It's pretty heavy. It's too pretty heavy. You can see here. Something like chest high. And uh, I thought basically it's not that tall, but it is. So even if, a if sea water comes in, it will not be washed away. Probably if you are too lucky. There's an exit here as well. Probably if you want to put something out. Another thing here. And something there as well. I think this is for you to pull the ropes out. And cut his sock. And there's a bell over here. And I think that's a water pump. So you pump water here and leave your bucket over there. So whatever the water comes out, it will drain away. So that's where the toilet is. Holy shit. So you poo there and the poo comes out. Oh my goodness. You can see livestock you normally keep there. Pigs. Probably will eat the poo, I guess. And this is how you pull the main mask, I guess. Hmm.
climbing up to the Royal Observatory. There's the park. We get a better view from up here. It's almost five o'clock, so I'm not sure if it's open or not. Girls, girls, look, just appreciate the view. Let me take some photos and pictures from here. We can wash the stars. Mm. Your ears by the altitude. Mm. Uh, yes, what altitude? Like <clears throat> really tired. So one of the best places to see London. So here we are. <laughs> <clears throat> Climbing up. You don't know whether you can see. Pretty steep here. That's the Greenwich University, and you can see the River Thames bending over there and going all the way like a snake. That's O2 Arena, is there? The dome. You can see the Kati Sak ship over there. And it's pretty steep here. We'll go somewhere there. So, this is where some, you could uh, watch stars. Uh, stars because there's hardly any light disturbing the view. It's pretty dark here. Thank you. So the Royal Observatory. I was late to come here. The last entry is at 16.15. And now it's closed. Maybe I'll come again. On another day, some of the telescopes. We <laughs> so, have a nice view here. James Wolfe. Statues over there, and that's the view. As you can see, lots of London, no bird's eye view. You can see the Royal 
observatories over here. <laughs> Westminster is over there. St. Paul's Cathedral is over there. City of London. That's the little city of London there. That's the Greenwich Pier. Docklands. It's Greenwich Power Station. The O2 Millennium Dome. The white bit over there. 